Hello friends, this is Iswa here and in this video let us review iOS 12 beta 3 on the iPhone 5s. So before getting into this video someone asked me to review the Mi i10 China Alpha ROM on the Redmi Note 4 but I don't have that device as of now with me so I can't install it so I'm very sorry for that and without wasting any more time let's get started with that amazing intro. Here we have the iPhone 5s running on iOS 12 developer beta 2 as of now and we have the iOS 12 developer beta 3 ready to install. So before getting to it let me check the about section and here is it 2.79 GB of available storage. Because of the software update file the available storage will be reduced. So let us just tap on install now and let us input the passcode verifying update so what we are going to do after this update is just surf through this OS and then uh, we are going to check the Geekbench course and uh, some other things related to iOS 12 now as you can see it is started to restart the iPhone and, and it will take some more time to restart the iPhone and install iOS 12 developer beta 3 so after the update is complete I will meet you soon so yeah, it has been booted and we have this iPhone 5s running on iOS 12 developer beta 3. So let us input the passcode and get into it right away. Here we have, let me surf through this OS for a few minutes and I will just time lapse it for you and then I will tell you how the smoothness is. So let us clear all these apps. It feels really good. It is better than iOS 11 in any ways and a little bit of improvement from iOS 12 developer beta 2. So let's check the storage available after updating. Let's get into general about phone and here we have 5.38 GB after the update. It is not a big thing as the software update file could have taken some storage space before updating to iOS 12 developer beta 3. So now let us check if the respring option is working in this beta 3 build and I think you would know about that respring bug which I made a video in my channel if you don't know I will leave a, a card over here to watch that respring bug and that was not found by me but uh, I just uh, demonstrated to you which was found by someone else and let us check if it works in this beta build too. So first of all let us just open the notification center so I just found that the respring bug is not working anymore as it is not opening up both the screens in both the notification center and also over here it is just closing up in either one screen so the respring bug has been patched by apple and uh, it seems cool but for us who don't like a long restart it might be a big problem so uh, yeah the respring bug has been patched by apple for the last thing let us just jump into geekbench and check our geekbench results on ios 12 developer beta 3 CPU run benchmark and after this process is complete I will meet you soon so here are the Geekbench results as you can see and let us compare this with the previous build that is the iOS 12 developer beta 2 here over here and the single core score is 917 in iOS 12 developer beta 2 and 957 in iOS 12 beta 3 and that's cool and multi core score is 1796 in iOS 12 developer beta 2 and in beta 3947. That's a great improvement. I feel that iPhone 5s is improving a lot. And at the final build where iOS stops its updates, I hope it will be the best build that Apple could ever give for the iPhone 5s. I'm loving the way Apple gives updates for iPhone 5s and still trying to improve it with 
so much of efforts from the developer team from Apple. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and if you want to share this video to your friends, hit the share button. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.